Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and this quick shot. In this quick shot, we had a request to show how to connect a network resource such as another hard drive on another computer or a folder on that hard drive and map that folder as a drive on my Windows 8.1 computer system. Here's how we do it. First, go to the desktop. From the desktop, we want to see what is actually attached to our system. Open up the File Explorer. And as you can see, here's our libraries. We have a hard drive. We have a CD or DVD. We also, on the navigation side of the pane, show that we have two computers. One of the computers is this actually Windows 8.1 system that we're on, and the other is a network computer that has already been set up to allow sharing. Let's expand that secondary computer, and you'll see that there is a directory called Share. If we can see it, and if it's set up to be shared on that other computer, and we have permissions to do it, we can set this up as a drive on this PC and also pin it to the desktop or to the start screen. And we can verify that we can add and delete and move files. Here's how we do it. First, since we verified we can see the shared directory, right mouse click on the share and select Map Network Drive. Give it a drive letter. Now the default is the last drive letter that Windows recognizes, in this case, Z. It automatically puts the shared pathway so that we don't have to do anything else. Make sure, though, that it says reconnect at sign-in. There's a check there. That's by default. If it's not there, check it. And then finish. Now, once we have completed the connection, it will pop up the window of that shared folder showing us that we do have some sort of file in there. Now let's close down that window and now look at this PC and you can see now we have what appears to be a drive with a network connection symbolized by cables. This, if we double click on it, shows us that same information, brings up that same shared window. If that's the case, let's see if we can do things with it. I'm going to highlight that file, which is on that shared folder. I'm going to right mouse click on it and copy it. And then I'm going to paste it to my desktop on my Windows 8.1 computer. I'm going back to the shared folder. I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to delete it. Confirm that I'm going to delete it and now the folder is empty. Go back to the same file that's on my desktop. I'm going to cut it. Select Cut. I'm going to come back to this shared folder. Right mouse click in the shared folder and select Paste. It then removed it from my desktop and put it back into the shared folder. That's what we want. Now we have a common folder from many of our computers if they're set up this way and in my case they are. If I open up this PC and I see the shared drive if you will, actually it's a folder but it looks like a hard drive. If I right mouse click on the shared drive and select create shortcut it will put a copy, in this case a link copy, of the shortcut on my desktop. I'll close down this window. Now if I just double click on this link, it will open up the same window. And where am I looking? I'm looking at the shared folder on another computer on my network. And lastly, I can go back to the shared link, right mouse click on it, and pin to start. Go to my start screen, and as you can see, there is my shared shortcut. Double click on it, 
or click on it, excuse me. And we're back to the desktop with that shared link. Now, if I close down this window and open up an application, we're going to open up Notepad. In Notepad, I'm going to type something. I want to save it. Normally, it will save and default to the Documents folder library. Instead, I'm going to save as. I'm going to give it a name. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down till I see the shared link. Click on that. Click Save. Close down the application and verify that my document has now been saved on that shared directly to be shared with other people on my network. Just simply go to the shared link, double click on it, and there's my test document. Well that completes this quick shot. Please visit us at the technologycloset.com and while you're there, check out our YouTube channel. Until next time.